everyone and welcome back to our channel. We are Sara and Igor and you are watching Dreams Become Wings. As you already know, we are traveling through Balkan. We already been to Croatia, Serbia and North Macedonia. And now we are in Albania and exactly in Tirana, the capital city of Albania. We are starting our day at Skanderberg Square with the monument of a national hero, Commander Skanderberg, who was fighting Ottomans during Ottoman era and he is also called a father, founding father of Albania. This is also the most popular place for the locals to meet, especially at the evening. Now it's a little bit hot, but there are still people here around. Also here are taking places all the important events and concerts. And around you can see opera and national museum. In one of the corners of Skanderberg Square is the clock tower located. It was built in 1822 and initially the clock didn't even have any arms. So to know what time it is, you had to count the ding -dongs. From top, you can also admire probably the most beautiful view above Tirana. Oh, you need to climb a little bit, and this place is probably loved by pigeons because there's a pigeon feather everywhere. The view was definitely worth the hike, right? Yeah, so the guy was almost closing. We said, Are you gonna be back? He said, Yeah, maybe at six o'clock. But he said, If you wanna go up, you can go up. So we were rushing. We are out of the breath, but the views are really, really nice in here. Also here in the city center is the Etienne Bay Mosque. It is one of the oldest mosques in Tirana. It was built in the 19th century and especially from inside, it's really, really beautiful. Walking around can make you really, really thirsty. So we are at Palati, which is like a really nice cafeteria here around the main square. There are three actually, so we already decided that we're gonna go to all three of them. So we're gonna go to one on each day. Right next to the bar, there's international bookstore. And you probably don't know this about me, but I am a big bookworm. So, I need to check this one out. Somehow we choose the summer to travel around Europe where some main attractions are under construction. So we had the situation already in Hungary, Croatia, Serbia and here in Albania, in Tirana, it's not different. This should be a colorful Soviet propaganda style mural, but as you can see, it is also under construction. To learn more about the Albanian history and culture, we visited the National History Museum. It starts from the prehistoric time to Middle Age to the more present days, but the only minus at the exhibition was, even it was really interesting, that like 50% was not translated into English. We finished yesterday with a museum and we were thinking let's start today also with a museum. So we visited the Bank Art 2 Museum which was initially built as a bunker but was converted into a museum to remind us of the dark communism time here in Albania. And fun fact about it, it was built for a minister who lived during this era but he never saw it finished because he passed away before it was done. The sculpture behind me is called the Cloud or Reya and it is designed by the Japanese artist and it was offered to the people of Tirana. What we also love about Tirana, everything is within a walking distance. So we've been to the bunker, it is about 500 meters from here. We've been to the Cloud, we saw the beautiful sculpture, it is about 100 meters from here. And now we are in Parku Rinia which is a beautiful park. Our next and almost last stop is Tenner's Bridge. Underneath was going the Line River and it was built in 18th century. It was used by the farmers to bring the livestock and products to the city center. In the 90s, it almost fell apart, but they restored it and now you can even walk on it. We are at the New Bazaar and this is probably our favorite place here in Old Tirana. Not only it is really authentic, you've got fruits, you've got vegetables, you've got some souvenirs all around, you've got beautiful restaurants and also really nice colorful buildings. 
what we really like about the Albanian culture is this coffee drinking, life enjoying attitude. So like on each corner you can find some coffee bars and all of them are full with people. And if there's no coffee bar around, don't worry. Albanian people will bring out a small table, some stools and still enjoy their coffee. Our trip in Tirana is coming to an end. So we decided to go to the local restaurant and get something delicious food. And we've got pepper with cottage cheese. Again, our favorite pepper. Then we've got cheese, grilled cheese. We've got some salad, also with feta cheese and baked potatoes. Mm, really good. Our time in Tirana is coming to an end and we are preparing ourselves for our next destination and we are super, super excited about it because it is one of our most favorite countries ever in the whole world. <laughs> But we had also a good time here. Tirana is probably not our favorite city because there is not so much to do, but we are sure that we will come again to Albania because there is so much more to explore, especially the coastline. So we will come here for sure again, but now we are ready for the next country. So if you liked our vlog here in Tirana, don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, leave a comment how you liked it and see you in our next video. Bye bye.